I'm feeling giddy guys. We are going to Ikea for the first time since we moved house. This has been a moment that I've been waiting for, for what well, I mean it's years, let's be honest, but also like two months since we moved in. I can't believe it's been that long already. And I've just been kind of like waiting out, waiting for funds to get like built up a little bit more. Uh, but there's lots of things that we want to get for the house and I mean, we're gonna go to Ikea, guys. I've just been to HomeSense, the, the wonder that is HomeSense. So if you want to see what I picked up in there, then over to my Instagram, which is Lara Joanna Jarvis, uh, because I've done a reel there. And oh my gosh, the things in there are just beautiful. But yeah, this, for Ikea, I'm gonna be looking for things like furniture and uh, like bigger things like that we need for the house. I need only bedside tables, because our bedside tables are third hand and they are so old. And uh, yeah, I've just been waiting for this moment for so long. So yes, very, very excited. Um, I'm starving. Uh, I don't know why I do this for myself. I might have to get some meatballs, maybe it's like a kid's portion, uh, because I've come out without any food and stupidly really but anyway i'm just so excited let's go i'm just so so happy and so excited so i can't wait to take you shopping with me in ikea and then maybe do a haul afterwards we'll see how we get on but grab a cuppa get co comfy and cozy let's go to ikea There she is! Come the outdoor bit! By the way, it's well worth getting the IKEA family card. One pound, 150 without it, so 30 pounds. It's quite cute actually, if you had like a smaller little area that you could put. See, I want one of these either side of our fireplace, but it needs to be wider than that, so I think we'd need to get it built by a carpenter. I really like it. This is cute. Oh, I do also need a dining room table because ours is just a bit too small for our bigger space now. So many things to get. It takes time though, guys. We like to live in it first just to see what fits. Frames. I'm no longer allowed to buy frames because uh, at one point I had like a box under the bed like years and years and years ago uh, with loads of frames in it that I just bought because I just really wanted them and then I never actually put them up. So Stuart always reminds me of that. that I can never buy any more frames. That bed's huge. That would actually be quite good for. What's that? So it's a day bed, four four nine. That is absolutely huge. So it could be like a sofa bed. Oh, I don't think it would fit into our playroom because it's too wide. Ours is only like one fifty because of the bay window. But yeah, that's like far too wide, sadly. Uh, but yeah, it's massive. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? If you have people to stay and you can have. A sofa in the day and then sofa bed by night. Massive one. Okay, it's my first time seeing the PAX options in store since I've owned one myself. Oh, that's nice little drawer, isn't it? That might... Oh, okay. That might be a better option than my tray that I've got at the bottom. My metal tray in my dressing room. Dressing room. It's a walkway, but you know, we'll call it a dressing room. Oh, actually, I wonder if they sell these tabs because I want to update Henry's wardrobe with those just to make it a little bit more his style because they're like crystal ones at the moment. It's a cute little sofa bed. I don't think it's a sofa bed. No, whereas that would have been a nice size for the playroom to put between the bay window. So many different sofas. My mum's got these Erk top ones and they have got so many different sets of covers for them and you can literally just change them according to the season, according to like, if they get dirty, you can wash them really easily. They're actually not too uncomfortable either. I find them quite comfortable. Looks like you can get that in a corner now as well. Oh, I love all the pink and white stripes. The lighting in here is not very good to show you. Around. Loving this space here. This little corner, I mean, all the dark colours. Although I, go, I get to the dark colours, I'm like, I love them, and then I go over to the pastel pink, and I'm like, oh, I think this is better. I'm just a bit. Uh, can never. Just... <laughs> I just walked straight into that lamp. <laughs> oh, I love the smell they put into this room. It's like really smoky, dusky, dusty, dusty. I don't think you want a dusty smell. It's really like charcoaly. 
sooty. Oh, I don't know if this is coming off a bit more green than it is in real life, but I really like this rug. I'll move on for the dining room, which I've been looking for, but one I found online is that £60, so I'll have to see how much this is, if they sell it. I really love this, like, distressed look. Oh look, that's literally like the same basket I bought the other day. It's £10, I can't remember how much one I bought was now, you guys probably remember. It's in white, that I got for the bathroom. Okay, so I sat in this, just thinking it was a regular chair. Mm -mm, no, my friend. Really? Oh yeah, we're going back. <laughs> it's so comfortable. I'm actually looking at getting a chair like this for Stu's Father's Day present, which is a bit bougie for Father's Day present. Essentially, we need a chair like this for the corner, and he's always wanted like a granddad's chair. But I don't know if it's a little bit, I'm not sure if it's real leather. Probably is. I did not know it was an extender when I sat in it. Now I'm thinking this is probably definitely the right chair. Probably, definitely, definitely, maybe. Let's, let me show you from far. 450 pounds, that is quite a lot. I think that'll go in the, in the snug though, with the blue walls. Not sure it will go with the uh, pink sofa though, although we will change that because it is not comfortable essentially for what we needed to do in that room. We wanted to have it as like a really nice chill out room. Um, and the chair's not big enough for all four of us to sit on. When we have a movie night, we're like literally squished on it. Well, actually, what George actually sits on, us on the pink chair. That heaven's bed is actually massive. I did not realise it went out so big. That would have been good for like Henry's room if we hadn't bought the king size frame from the original owner. 449, it's a good just under bed storage as well. So this is the one that we wanted. My brother's got it and I feel like so many people have got it. And you basically pull it out like this. And then this bit as well comes up. Oh God, no, I can't get it all the way. Oh no, I, th I feel like this one may be broken. Yeah, that's broken. Um, but yeah, so basically it's like a corner sofa and then a sofa bed as well. And so for movie nights, you like all lay along there and you have a, like a really big space to sit. Uh, but unfortunately, it won't fit because of the bay window. Uh, but yeah, thought I'd show you in case you're looking for one. <laughs> oh my god, that is a beast! Oh, I love all the little displays they've got. I'm, th I'm trying to think of what... Oh my goodness, this sofa's like a pair of jeans! And they've pumped music in, like seagull music in here, seagull sounds. I love looking around in these. I'd really love to get Henry a desk for his room, just like a really thin, really small little one, inexpensive, because he's kind of, he's almost nine now, and he's getting to the age where he's gonna do like homework, sat down and things like that. So, and actually whenever we go to hotels, they actually lose their minds if they get a desk. I don't know why, they're just like, we got a desk. And then they argue if they only get one desk and they have to share it and one's taking up too much space. And yeah, so I think it might be one of those life made moments, bless them, if I get them a little desk for their room. Look at this this is sweet. Tiles are nice. Oh, and the little outside area. Hmm. Wow, craft room of dreams. I think that's the mirror I've come to get, but it's on its side. I'm not used to seeing it like that. I've never seen it in this colour either. Um, yeah, it is the mirror. Is it new? Didn't know it did it in this colour. Yeah, so I want to get one of these for the dressing area, because I've only got one, and then one for the hallway as well. I don't know what's happened, but we're back to frames. It's like telling me to buy them. How are we back to frames? Have I taken a wrong turn? I quite like these cupboards. I thought it was pink then, but it's like a really light colour, but I just, I quite like the ribbed sort of thing. I'm really into fluted glass at the moment. I feel like that's why I'm drawn to it. Literally none of their sofas are sofa beds unless they're like £700. I have been looking on Marketplace actually because there's always lots on there. But it's just having to fit this space is annoying. Oh, I haven't seen this before. I can't say it's new. This is such a good price. I had to like triple check that that was definitely it. TV bench. I really, really love that. But it's not really the sort of thing that's going to go in my house. It's a little bit more kind of country vibe. Um, which isn't really the style of the house, is it? It's more like industrial 
cheek. <laughs> but that's amazing. I really love that. Really nice. Okay, so now I want an orange front door. <laughs> that is so cool. I love the way they've styled this with the uh, beading. Is that what we call it? That is really nice. That chair's cute. Just taking a sit down. <laughs> I'm fucking a bit. I think I need to go and get some food. Let's go get some food and then um, back. Okay, I went for it, guys. I had to get myself a meal. It's £4.15. Um, I went with the meatballs with sauce and a little bit of potato. And with like your family card, you do get a free coffee, which I'm definitely here for. So I'd fuel myself mid shop. If you enjoyed the video, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new here. If you haven't seen any videos from me before, I'm Lara. I just moved into our new home and I'm um, having the best time decorating it. Over time, it takes a long time to do these things because they can be expensive. So I like to share videos to help you live your best life on a budget. And uh, like here, it's no exception. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to get on and eat this and then carry on shopping. This is the size one I've got in the in my old room, well my room from my old room to go into potentially the office. I'm not really sure if it's going to work because I want to put my craft supplies in there, but you need something hard really like that because the soft boxes that we've got they don't really kind of it all gets a bit messed up inside. Uh, but yeah, if you know of any other better storage solution so I don't have to buy a new thing um, let me know it's not ideal but you know we don't need anything we've already got one thing there that we could use it's just I want to make it work so I've got this Lego storage it says three for 12 pounds that's quite cool that'd be good for the boys oh this is pretty I don't see a price for it anywhere I like that oh my gosh I love it I love the color the green with the mustard this might be my, my favourite room. There's still more time, but I feel like, oh, we've got Van Gogh, just like we've got the Mona Lisa. <laughs> this, oh, they've got it in green. Oh, they do all of these in, oh, hello. <laughs> they do all these in green now. That's nice. That's a good price, One twenty-nine. Oh, I just love it so much. Obviously it's a styling, you're not going to make it look the same unless you buy all this stuff. But it gives really good inspiration. Let's see what's in here. Now to me, <laughs> that just seems like a big waste of storage to have one hat. But, you know, it looks nice. Let's see what solutions we can find for my packs. Nothing much in there. <laughs> so Oh, okay. Right, so with mine, I feel like this is a better use of the space than mine that's got the cupboards above. Oh, there is one. So actually that is, I guess, it's got drawers, but it's a bit like my first cupboard, first wardrobe. Oh, this is dreamy. Imagine having a walk-in larder like this. Or you may well do. Let me know. Comment below if you have got a walk-in larder. I guess it's more like a utility room, really. But yeah. So I feel like I want one of these for my wardrobe because it's so high up, like the one I was just showing you. But I want the smaller one that kind of folds down. I don't see them here, annoyingly. Little tween gamer room vision into the future <laughs> oh this is cute I mean have I said cute a lot I feel like I have but seriously cute I've not seen these ones before like a green mesh it's quite cool and they wouldn't um, like the ones in the boys playroom just like disintegrated they're so full and we're always taking them in and out see I was gonna say something like oh that's cool um, like this, but that's still £90, which feels like a lot for just like a tiny little desk in his room. What's this one? This one's smaller. Oh, smaller. Am I just... £19. £19? That could be perfect. £19 though. That could be good for the space. 
Okay, so I really would love to get some strip lighting for Henry's room. So we are gonna do daughter's room, but we're doing Henry's first, essentially, um, because his was like, there was nothing in it. Um, and this is 17 pounds. I just really wanna know if you can change color, because I feel like red is a lot for the eyes. Is that a mum thing to say? I'm sure Henry would love it. Um, but yeah, I need to find the location for that. Oh yes, it's hurting my eyes reading this, but it does say you can have seven colors. Okay, so I found it, 17 pounds, guys. For just that like it said three strips i was thinking they were all, like three of this size um just that just that little length there it's not gonna go very far is it yeah i think i'll probably have a look online look at this imagine this whoa bling <laughs> oh my gosh with that 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 just do they sell this? Because this, I mean, of course they sell it, but it probably wouldn't be on display. Oh my God. Well, that is a lot of money. Oh, look at these though. <gasps> Bling. Oh my God, what is this? Is this a collar? <laughs> Let's keep going, what else are you gonna find? Good. Anyone bling? Nice cute pajamas. Ross. Now, I don't think my cupboards would be clean enough, tidy enough to have glass fronted. I feel like it would just show off what a mess it is. I quite like this glass top to it, and then you can have like, your jewellery displayed there. That's quite nice. It's not that I've got enough jewellery to display. I love this bit. It's so good for children in here. It's like, it, actually, the crash was shut, but just to play in here. So much fun. There's actually always like little bits and bobs for them to do as well. What does this do? Oh, turning those on and off. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> I see it's going off in this room. <laughs> We've got like the pastel versions, the crockery. We've got in the like, um, kind of more bright colours, like those day, one pound fifty. Bargain. That's a good idea, isn't it? A little storage tube. I probably get sent something like that and you could use it as storage, but maybe some packaging you've already received. Well, this is quite good. Literally put it down on the floor and they can draw on it. A little fun, aren't you? These bags are the ones that we have in the cupboard. Three pounds. I always pick up a couple of packs when I come made from bioplastic. Onto the market hall, oh, the place where jeans are made. Now, I don't know what the material, oh God, I'm really tired, I don't feel very well actually. Um, I don't know what the material is for our kitchen work surface, but I'm petrified of damaging it. So I'm thinking, would this be good enough to put down as like, when we take something out of the oven, they're 250 for two, or do I need to go in with like something metal? That's five pound for one. Or can you just put hot pans on it? Because I'm absolutely so scared of damaging it. I think that's actually really lightweight. I might... Let me know in the comments because I'm clueless. I'm so scared of hurting our house. It's ridiculous. Cushiony bits. Loads of cushions actually. Not in the market for any cushions today. I do need a shower curtain though if there's one going. Looks like it might be coming into that sort of area. Hmm. It's cute. 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 So what we do need is a bathroom cabinet for the main bathroom with a mirror, because there's no mirror in there, and I figure you might as well just get a bathroom cabinet with a mirror and then like kill two beds with one stone. But it's storage in there, a mirror. So this looks like the right place. Name of the Kallax boxes. Oh, see those sunscreen ones anywhere though. I think I might get those ones for the office. Find them. Right, it's that one there. They are 12 pounds each way, and it's four. That's quite expensive. But I can't actually find where they are. Unless I went with two and then the grey, because they're much sturdier. Let's see how much they are. Oh wow, they're 15. <laughs> oh no, I'll just stick to four green then. Yeah. Find the green anywhere, so I'm going to go with this white. I feel like the more hard wearing, and it's actually cheaper than the ones I showed you just a second ago with the handle. These are £12, so yeah, adding that 
Oh, I'm going to just start using that Canax box again. Although I don't know if it's called a Canax unit. I'm not sure if it's called a Dronus or something. Um, yeah, we can start using it then and put it into the office. This is the rug I saw at the beginning. So £45. But it's actually, I mean, it's with the green. So it is actually green. I thought it was blue in the other room. <laughs> Grey and green. It's a shame because we need blue really. But it's like they might have one blue. It's the same sort of style. Let's keep looking. What do you think of that in the garden on the patio? I think that would probably work, like as in it would last. Would it? Would it go through rain? I'm not sure. I'm looking for one for the patio. I can't find one like that. Like that Art Deco style mirror. It's nice. What's this? <laughs> Retro. So I was looking at this thinking, oh, they could make that a really cool, like, DIY upcycle sort of thing. <laughs> it's £29. <laughs> I was thinking it'd be a lot cheaper than that. You could probably make that because they sell these. And then you could undo that to make that. You just need the frame. Oh my gosh, I've got a massive headache. I'm going to get home and then I'll do you a haul of what I've got. I can only apologise for how tired I look. I suddenly had like a really big headache and I was really tired. Um, so yeah, I needed to just like get home basically. So I thought I'd share a little haul, Ikea haul of what I got. I haven't gone crazy, you know me. I like to take my time with these decisions. Um, but I will buy the mirrors online because I didn't think they would, well they weren't going to fit, or weren't going to fit in my car. So two of those. Uh, and then I've, I'm going to see how I feel about that green unit because I do love it just not sure where it would go so yeah that's another thing and then the desk perhaps I thought I'd just do it all in one order and they can deliver it so I'll show you what I get what I got um two of these plastic sandwich bags with the like special plastic made out of I think cornstarch or something that degrades a lot quicker uh those ones and then I've got these in the end I'm really not sure if the metal would have just conducted the heat and then made it even worse. So I've got these, we're gonna see how we get on. They were £2.50. Um, yeah, I just need to remember to put them out for when we have the pans that we need to put down. I got this fluted glass vase. I absolutely love it. I'm just obsessed with fluted glass at the moment. Really, really pretty. Perfect for spring flowers. Uh, putting that up on the gold unit. Okay, so I've got four of these for the office. These are the white ones that I showed you. They didn't have the green ones anywhere. I couldn't see it. But then I just thought, actually, white would probably work better in the room. So I got four of those, which were £12 each. It's quite £12 each, quite expensive. But I know that the metal will last really well. I got this as well, which is a strip lighting for in the garden. I'm not sure how it will turn out. They're not very big and they're battery powered. So probably not very bright but we will see. I'll show you once they're up and connected and everything and set up. So we'll see how bright they are. And then I've got this, which I'm gonna I Ikea hack. <laughs> and I'm gonna make a tea caddy, cause you know me, I'm obsessed with my teas and I really want something to look really cool on the side. I think it's upside down. So yeah, I'm gonna do a little hack with that. So keep watching. And if you do like an Ikea hack, I've got maybe four, five, six videos here on this channel. In fact, I think my highest viewed video ever, years ago, so badly made, is an IKEA hacks video. So yeah, go and watch that. If you want to see, just type in on my channel that sort of video. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and spending the day with me. I really hope you enjoyed this IKEA come shop with me for the new house. And I will see you guys so, so soon for more content. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and I'll see you so soon. Bye.